An incredible race! Look at it! Every driver is being so aggressive! Check it out! They'll all be feeling the pressure right now. None more so than young Aidan Jackson from Carlin. That's right. Rumors from the paddock talk about a possible future for Jackson in Formula 1. And with only a few laps to go, this is still anyone's race. The atmosphere here is electric and we couldn't have asked for a better finish to the F2 season here in Abu Dhabi. Okay, Aiden, you're doing great. Keep focused. You know what to do. Copy that! That was the fastest lap of the race so far.
Fantastic work, Aiden. Great drive, mate. Congratulations. Yes! Come on! And he's done it! Jackson's done it! Aiden Jackson wins the F2 Championship! What a win for Jackson! What a win! And it couldn't have gone to a better driver. A magnificent result. He's already been vocal about his dreams of one day driving for Red Bull in Formula One. Let's just hope the right people are watching today. And here he is, the man of the moment, Aiden Jackson. An amazing race and a fantastic win for this incredible driver. Indeed. After this, I guarantee that Jackson will be the hot topic in more than a few upcoming F1 team meetings. The future's definitely bright for this young driver. Aiden, now you've made the leap to Formula One, no surprise to anyone who's been watching your career. How does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your first race? To be honest with you, Will, it hasn't really quite sunk in yet. The team has given me a fantastic opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime, a dream come true. So to answer your question, I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes, you know? I've even had to pinch myself a couple of times. So, yeah, it, it can be a bit overwhelming. But out on the track, the speed, the noise, even the smell, it's all the same. I just hope my driving is too. And what about Casper Ackerman? Are you intimidated at all having such a seasoned and experienced driver as your first teammate in Formula One? How's that relationship coming along? I've always looked up to Casper as someone to aspire to. Growing up as a kid, his pictures were all over my bedroom walls, you know? The dream was always to be Casper. But, as it turns out, I'll be racing alongside Casper, which is good enough for me. I get to learn from the best. Besides, every legend has to start somewhere, right? <laughs> Aiden. Just wondering if we can get your reaction to the obvious comparisons that are being made between you and another F1 driver. Much like you, he made the transition from F2 to F1 last season. What do you say to the press here and to your fans who are calling you the new Devon Butler? <laughs> the new Devon Butler. I'm all right with that. Does that mean we can lose the old one? <laughs> You come over well. They like you. I don't know what you were worried about. Thanks. You know, everything's going to be fine out there today. I just know it. Just do what you did in F2. Easy. Thanks, Brian. I won't let you down. Got this. Hello, Aiden, are you in your room? Oh, hey, Brian. Yeah, I'm in my room. Good. Well, have a look around. I hope you like it. Should be everything you need in there. News feeds, social media. Hey, it's hooked up to the lot. Just do me a favour, eh? Go on. Make sure you check your emails. I think there's a message in there for you. Oh, right. Thanks, Brian. Take a breather, do what you need to do, and I'll see you before the race. Nice one. Hello? Hello, love. 
How's it going? All right, Ma. Yes, yeah, going all right. I'm just getting ready. I saw your interview. And? You need a haircut. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, I guess. But aside from that, you were great. I'm so proud of you, Aiden. I know, Ma. Thanks. I wish I could be out there with you. This is everything you've worked towards. Yeah, I know, but you'll be at the next one. Just do what you do, and everything will be great. Thanks, Ma. And remember, mirror signal maneuver, and always stick to the speed limit. Great advice. I'm all over it. I know you are, love. I'll speak to you later. Good luck. Bye. Solid start, Aiden. Let's try and push it further. Copy that. Uh, where's Casper? He's up ahead. Let's try and bring you two closer together. Casper's in P10 at the moment. There is a couple of places up on you. Closing in on Casper now, Aiden. Good job. Casper's in P10 at the moment. The gap to the car ahead is 1.8 seconds. What 
a brilliant Australian Grand Prix this has been, but there's still plenty of time for more drama. There certainly is, Crofty, and these two have been fighting each other incredibly hard so far. They don't want to go tripping over each other, though, because Devon Butler is coming up from behind. He's on the attack, too. Aiden, Casper's not your priority. We need you to defend. It's OK. I've got this. Here comes Butler. Three abreast going into turn 11. Oh, this can't work, and it doesn't. Ackerman's off onto the verge of what looks like damage as well. Is he OK? Is Casper OK? He'll be fine. He's heading for the pits now. You just concentrate on the race. Well, there we have it. I think we're going to get fireworks tonight in the Alpha Towery garage. There will be, Crofty, for sure. Look, it was a late move from Devon Butler, but you never want to see two teammates make contact, and Ackerman will surely be seething at that one. Absolutely. And I'll tell you who else isn't going to be happy too. Aidan Jackson, not how his F1 race debut should have gone. Damage appears to be minor. How's it feeling, Aiden? Yeah, car's okay. Understood. See how well you can do out there. Copy. behind us is 7.8 seconds. Gap to car in front is 1.9 seconds. We're starting to catch the car in front, but we need to look after the tyres. We won't be making another pit stop.
five laps of fuel remaining. Top 10 now, keep it up. Okay, the gap behind is 1.7 seconds. Okay, gap ahead is 2.6 seconds. There's three laps of fuel remaining. This is your final lap, final lap of the race.
gap to the car in front is 2.1 seconds. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. A great race then, and a fantastic victory here at Albert Park. What a start to the season this has been. A fascinating race here in Australia, Ant. The top teams as ever continue to push the boundaries of the sport and it'll be interesting to see how the new Alpha Tauri driver Aidan Jackson settles in, especially after that early incident involving his teammate. Well, we've certainly seen rivalries born from less. Suffice to say, if you came into the 2020 season hoping for a bit of drama, it looks like you won't be disappointed. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Casper, listen, I don't know what happened out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car, hmm? You're pathetic. You won't even admit when you made a mistake. I'm... How did they ever sign you? Oh, Butler. I'm um, Devon. I didn't see you there. I what, like, out on the track today? You nearly took me out, mate. Look, I don't know what happened. You cut in, I swerved. Next thing I knew, Casper was out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame, because you haven't sailed in yet. Sorry, Aiden. Just bear with us one sec. No problem. You seem to find your feet quite quickly after you graduated from Formula 2. What advice would you give to Jackson in his first season? Well, stay out of my way mostly. <laughs> and uh, taking out your own teammate isn't something I would make a habit of. Almost ready, Aiden. We're just checking audio levels. Uh, sure. Seriously, Casper must be wondering what on earth Alpha Tauri were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Devin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Aiden. Let's talk about that incident with your teammate. Brian. Talk to me. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Listen, what happened out there today? I had it all under control and then... Look, let's not go through all that now. We'll talk about it at the debrief. Right, yeah. I was actually talking about your little running with Casper and Butler over in the paddock. Oh, wow. News travels fast. The paddock talks, Aiden. Besides, I've got ears like a hawk. Listen, Butler's a clown. The man's ego is bigger than a... 
No, no, I've got nothing. And don't give it a second thought. Thanks, Brian. But Casper? <laughs> yeah, so he can get a little hot-headed, especially after a race. But you have got to work with him. That manoeuvre today... Wasn't my fault, Brian. It probably cost us points. I'll level with you. A lot of people on the team are disappointed, Aiden. And I'll be saying as much to Casper. Now, learn from it and move on. But you can't let it happen again. I'll see you in the debrief. the Chinese Grand Prix here in Shanghai, and this track fast becoming a rookie's favorite. Alex Albon, remember him from last year? A brilliant race in his debut season, and it looks like Aidan Jackson's continuing the trend. He really is, Croft. He's showing great promise so far this season. Well, here's Ackerman now going up behind his young teammates. Well, the rumor in the paddock, Croft, is that the tension's building between these two. Let's see what happens here. Here we go, Ackerman's going for it. Down the inside of the hairpin, he's bashed his teammate off the track! What are you doing? Casper, what the hell? Looks like Jackson's really struggling to get over that. Okay, Aiden, keep it focused, concentrate. That brush with his teammate clearly affecting the young driver. It looks like it has, Crofty. I can't see any significant damage to that car, so he's going to have to pull himself back into this race. Car's looking okay, Aiden. See if you can recover a few places. What was that all about? You can recover, Aiden. That's not okay. That's really not okay.
We have five laps of fuel remaining. Okay, you're in the top 10. There's three laps of fuel remaining. gap to the car ahead is 1.5 seconds.
there's only one lap of fuel remaining. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. That's the end of the race, we'll see you in Park Fermi. Well, plenty to digest there and a little bit ominous seeing the two Alpha Tauri teammates make contact again. Things don't look stable between these two drivers, Crofty. They've barely been teammates five minutes. That wheel bump, could that have been avoided, Ant? Yeah, it looked like Ackerman was making a bit of a statement to me certainly not given Jackson any room. A sign of things to come? Well, for their sakes, let's hope not. That wraps things up here in China. Until next time. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. Casper, what the hell was that? You nearly put me out the entire race. Bumping wheels like that, you could have put us both into the barrier. Casper, come on, man. You... I have to make a phone call. Casper, Ackerman, Mom, cancel the TV subscription. The entertainment is right here. Oh, come off it. Do you really have nothing better to do? Right now, no. <laughs> and why would I want to miss this? You two, you two are like characters in a badly written sitcom. He wanted you a lot to sign Ricardo, you know. Ask anyone. What do you mean? The paddock talks, mate. And so did Ackerman. Yeah. Should have heard him last season. He didn't care who he talked to, and he was always going off on one about you. He tried to stop them from signing you. He didn't want to play babysitter. Oh, he did, did he? Everyone knows. Uh, have you not seen the way that people look at you? We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. You want my advice? Prove him wrong. <laughs> Chin up. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Hey, Ma. Hello, love. I saw the race and thought I'd give you a call. And why is that? Just to say well done, like I always do. Oh, right. I saw what happened in the race with Casper. Can't believe he wasn't penalized. Are you okay? I'm fine. And Casper, what's he said about it? Nothing. He wouldn't speak to me. Well, maybe keep trying. It can't hurt to clear the air. Just remember what your grandmother always used to say. The fights that can't be won are the fights you fight the hardest. I'm not even sure that makes sense. Just whatever's going on, don't let it get to you. And call me later, okay? <laughs> Will do.